Hello, hello everyone, Ryan from Avatar Aquatics, and welcome to my DIY brunch and patch rebuild. We'll be using materials commonly found around the house, and this design is easily scalable to 2 liter sizes if you have more fish. So let's get started and dive right in. Now let's talk about this hatchery itself. It is just a regular water bottle. I cut the bottom off, leaving about an inch or two and a half centimeters on the bottom so that I can mash it back in the other way and it'll act as a splash guard. It won't fall off if you do it right. We'll be putting this inside the aquarium so we don't need another heater to heat it up. I find that brine shrimp hatch the fastest at tropical fish aquarium temperatures around 77 degrees Fahrenheit or 25 degrees Celsius. On the lid, I also drilled a small hole with a pair of scissors so that I can put the airline tubing in. You just need it big enough for the airline tubing to go through without a problem. Too big and we'll get some splashing. Now for the cap, I don't put any holes in that because we need it to be watertight. When you're cleaning, it's very easy to unscrew the cap, insert your fingers, and go around back and forth and clean the walls. And on the other side, you can just put your fist in. My hands are a little too big, so sometimes I use a toothbrush. And it should be cleaned every time you make another batch. These are just lead plant weights that came in on a plant shipment online a while ago, and they're very useful. They can bend to the shape you want them to bend to. If you're worried about lead poisoning, you can just use a rock and hot glue it, but I've never had a problem. And this, this is just some warm dechlorinated tap water, as warm water dissolves the salt faster. Don't make it hot because you'll kill your brine shrimp. Now let's actually set this up now. I'll take the airline and I'll put it through the cap in this direction with the flat part facing the hatchery itself. And then I will wrap the lead plant weights onto the end of the airline and wrap them around so it's tight and won't move. I find that two of these plant weights give me the optimal weight. And now we're ready to mix the water. I use a full tablespoon of instant ocean reef crystal salt. It is the cheapest marine salt I could find. I use the warm water to wash the salt from the container and spoon into our hatchery, keeping it steady to ensure that it doesn't tip over. This comes out to be 20 parts per thousand and perfect for hatching. Remember that evaporation will increase the salinity over the course of the hatching. Leave four to five centimeters at the top so it doesn't bubble over, and don't worry about dissolving the salt as the airline will take care of it later. Next is the baby brine shrimp eggs. I add about one capful for 15 adult medium-sized fish, and I also find that one capful is enough to feed a clutch of 700 newly hatched fish fry. The actual amount has to be adjusted according to your needs, but you can add a lot of cysts into the hatchery. I cut off a thin strip of tape, and duct tape really works the best here. I fold it in half like this, well it's more of a twist like a candy wrapper. And then I'll put in the airline and make sure that it's working and there are no problems. Lastly I put the cap on, make sure it's tight, and I secure the duct tape to the side of the hatchery. And now we're ready to put this into our aquarium. I like to put the hatchery at the front edge of one of my tanks so that I can see at a glance when the babies have hatched out. I ensure the airline is all the way down at the bottom and that the bubbles are circulating the water really nicely. Lastly, I make sure the cap is on tight because it acts as a splash guard for any sort of salt water to come out of the tank. Now I'll leave this here for 24 to 32 hours depending on the temperature as it equilibrates and the babies hatch out. The next day, I prepare a filter cloth and let the hatchery sit as the babies sink towards the bottom. Once I've confirmed that the babies have settled to the bottom, I take my turkey baster and I suck up all the newly hatched baby brine shrimp. I keep the tip of my turkey baster above the very bottom so that I don't suck up any unhatched eggs. For this step, Please try to do it 5 to 10 minutes after you stop the airline so that your babies don't run out of oxygen and die before you can feed them to your fish. I'll filter the water back into the hatchery and return the hatchery to the tank for the next feeding. This would also be the time to reset if needed. Then I use a pipette for actually picking up the brine shrimp or I'll invert the entire cloth into the tank for feeding. 
And guys, I don't think there is any other fish food out there that is so well liked by both adult and baby fish. So if you learned something new, please consider giving me a like or subscribing to my channel. And I wish you a good day and a happy fish keeping journey.